here is your no-nonsense recap for Demon Slayer Season 2. Check out this first for a Season 1 and Mugen Train recap. Akaza, a powerful demon under Muzan's command, encounters Muzan, who has taken on the guise of a young boy. Muzan expresses his dissatisfaction with Akaza for being unable to kill the other three Demon Slayers besides Kyojuro. In response, Akaza swears to kill Tanjiro. Upon arriving at Kyojuro's home, Tanjiro and his comrades encounter his father, Shinjiro. Shinjiro, a former flame Hashira, has succumbed to alcoholism and now despises demon slayers, including his own sons, whom he views as failures. In a fit of rage, Shinjiro violently rejects Tanjiro. However, when he catches a glimpse of Tanjiro's earrings, which symbolizes his status as a bearer of the rare sun breathing technique, Shinjiro reveals the technique's existence to Tanjiro. Tanjiro, outraged by Shinjiro's disrespect towards Kyojiro, headbutts him, rendering him unconscious. Later, Kyojiro's younger brother, Shinjiro, thanks Tanjiro for delivering his brother's message. After four months have passed since Kyojiro's tragic demise, Tanjiro, along with his comrades Zenitsu and Inosuke, join forces with the Sound Hashira Tengen Uzui on their next mission. This mission involves infiltrating the notorious Yoshiwara Red Light District, where demons are rumored to reside. Tengen Uzui, the Sound Hashira, was concerned about the demonic presence in the Yoshiwara Red Light District, so he deployed his three wives to investigate. After a while, he stopped receiving any communication from them, which made him anxious about their safety. In order to find out what happened to them, Tengen decided to disguise Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu as girls and sell them to the three largest courtesan houses in the district where his wives were previously deployed. Although it was a challenging task, all three demon slayers managed to get hired at the courtesan houses. While they were working there, Tengen kept an eye on the district from the rooftops. He noticed that something was not right as he didn't see any sign of his wives. Finally, during his surveillance, Tengen found out that one of his wives, Makio, was held captive in a secluded room in Inosuke's house. She was restrained by multiple obi, and a mysterious female voice was interrogating her. Tengen realized that his wives were in danger, and he had to act quickly to save them. Inosuke, suspecting that the disheveled and empty room he found belongs to Tengen's missing wife, Makio, searches for any signs of her whereabouts. As he investigates, he senses the movements through the ceiling and walls, prompting him to pursue the unknown entity. Despite his best efforts, Inosuke Inosuke fails to catch the elusive figure. Meanwhile, Zenitsu finds himself defending a girl from Wara Bahime, the intimidating Oiran who works at the house where he is working undercover. Upon recognizing her as a demon, Zenitsu is attacked by Wara Bahime in anger. Days before the mission, the madam of the house confronts Wara Bahime and reveals that she knows her true identity as a demon. In retaliation, Wara Bahime kills her by throwing her from a great height onto the street below. Upon returning to the house, Wara Bahime Hime is met by Muzan, who praises her for her strength and beauty, addressing her by her demon name, Daki, the upper rank six. Later, Zenitsu wakes up, having been tended to by the girls he defended earlier. The girls thank him for his bravery, but as they leave, Zenitsu is stealthily captured by Daki. As the mission continues, it becomes more complex and dangerous. The fate of Tengen's missing wives and the safety of Tanjiro, Inosuke, and Zenitsu are uncertain. Tanjiro and Inosuke meet up to exchange information about their respective investigations. However, their conversation is cut short by Tengen's sudden appearance. Tengen informs him that Zenitsu is missing and that he has dismissed them both, not wanting to put their lives in danger for his own needs. Tanjiro and Inosuke refuse to abandon their comrade and quickly rearm themselves for battle. Shedding his disguise, Tanjiro bids farewell to the Oran of his house, who had known he was a male all along. Meanwhile, Tengen interrogates the master of Zenitsu's house at knife point, hoping to extract information about the demon responsible for the disappearance of his wives. As Tanjiro leaves his house, he senses a familiar scent coming from the direction of Zenitsu's house and decides to investigate. However, he is suddenly confronted by Daki, a powerful upper rank 6 demon who has absorbed the Oiron into her own Obi. The two engage into a fierce battle, with Daki easily overpowering Tanjiro with her numerous Obi slashes. With each of her attacks, one of the straps on Nezuko's box breaks, making it impossible for Tanjiro to carry her and fight at the same time. In a moment of desperation, Tanjiro decides to leave Nezuko behind and face Daki alone. 
Knowing that Daki is the strongest demon he has faced so far, Tanjiro prepares himself for a difficult battle. He is determined to defeat her and rescue his friend Zenitsu, no matter the cost. After searching tirelessly for his wives, Tengen finally comes across Hinatsuru, lying lifeless on the outside of the district. She had consumed a lethal poison to escape the clutches of the demon, but remained unable to contact her beloved husband. Meanwhile, Tanjiro fights valiantly against the diabolical Daki, unleashing his Hinokami Kagura in an attempt to defeat her. But the immense fatigue on his body impedes his efforts, and he struggles to keep up with the demon's swift movements. As fate would have it, Inosuke discovers a secret passageway hidden beneath his own house. The narrow entrance leads to a dark cavern, which serves as a holding cell for Daki's victims. To his horror, he finds that the obi belts that Daki uses to absorb her prey are not just inanimate objects, but actually animate entities that can act independently from the demon's body. Inosuke's first instinct is to slay the obi, but he quickly realizes that he must first free the people trapped within. Though overwhelmed by the sheer number of Obi, Inosuke manages to free Suma and Makio, two of Tengen's wives who had been held captive for far too long. Zenitsu, also among the prisoners, is freed as well, and all three join Inosuke in his fight against the demon. The battle is far from over and the odds are not in their favor. It is only when Tengen himself arrives on the scene that they begin to stand a chance. With his unparalleled swordsmanship and unwavering determination, Tengen joins forces with the Demon Slayers, and together they wage a fierce battle against the demons. Hope you are enjoying the video, but I'd like to ask you all to check out my seasonal anime podcast, The King of Anime Podcast. I have a goal to reach 500 subscribers so that when we get there, we switch from audio only to face cams. Now, back to the video. The fight between Tanjiro and Daki reaches a whole new level of insanity as they wreak havoc on the district causing destruction and taking the lives of innocent people. Tanjiro, consumed by rage, unleashes a powerful barrage of attacks in his Hinokami Kagura form, aiming to slice off Daki's neck. But Daki's got some tricks up her obi and transforms her neck into a weapon to avoid Tanjiro's deadly slashes. As the battle rages on, Daki starts to see distant memories of a familiar figure that eerily resembles Tanjiro. It's like deja vu, but with a twisted twist. She figures out that the memories belong to Muzan cells in her body. Tanjiro, on the other hand, has been fighting without breathing and is on the brink of suffocation. Thankfully, a vision of his sister Nezuko saves him from the brink of death. But the respite is short-lived as Daki approaches the weakened Tanjiro. Just when it seems like all is lost, Nezuko makes her grand entrance, kicking Daki's head and destroying it. But Daki isn't one to be taken down easily and starts fighting Nezuko, determined to exterminate the rogue demon. With ease, Daki seemingly bisects Nezuko, but to her utter shock, the demon girl is already standing, ready to fight back with a vengeance. Biting through her bamboo muzzle, Nezuko transforms and unleashes her fury filled with rage at the enemy who dared to harm her family. Nezuko's fight with Daki is nothing short of all inspiring. Despite taking some major injuries, she heals herself almost instantaneously, leaving Daki completely gobsmacked. The upper six demoness is no match for Nezuko's ferocity and strength, and the demon slayer hurls her into a nearby building with ease. As she lands with a bone-crunching thud, Daki writhes in agony, but her cries soon turn into something altogether more sinister. Her wails summon Gyutaro, her brother and fellow Upper Six, who emerges from within her twisted form. Determined to take down Tengen, Gyutaro unleashes his sickles, and Blood Demon are unleashing a flurry of deadly attacks. Tengen is overwhelmed, struggling to fend off the siblings while keeping the terrified civilian safe. Meanwhile, Tanjiro has his hands full, trying to calm Nezuko down, who is blinded by her rage and bloodlust. Just as all seems lost, Zenitsu and Inosuke arrive to join the fray, and the battle rages on with Daki and Gyutaro fighting as one. But the Demon Slayers refuse to give up, pushing themselves beyond their limits to take down the fearsome duo. With every blow, they come closer and closer to victory, and just when it seems like all hope is lost, Tengen delivers the final blow, beheading Daki with ease. But the battle is far from over, as Gyutaro vows to avenge his sister's death, setting the stage for an epic showdown between the Upper Six Demon and the brave Demon Slayers. Except there's just one thing, Daki 
didn't die. Nezuko's safety is Tanjiro's top priority, but he's determined to fight despite his injuries. And as the battle rages on, Tengen throws verbal jabs at the upper rank demons Gutaro and Daki over their opposing beliefs. Tengen's path to the Demon Slayer core was a treacherous one, as he was subjected to harsh shinobi training by his father. He didn't want to follow in his brother's footsteps and turned to Kaguya for guidance who praised him for breaking away from his violent past. As the fight intensifies, Tengen separates the siblings, only to discover that he's been poisoned by Gyutaro's earlier attack. Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke join forces with Tengen and earn his praise for their fighting prowess. Meanwhile, Suma and Makio evacuate the district while Hinatsuru, who has recovered from her injuries, makes her way to the battle. Determined to take down the upper rank demons, Tengen plans to simultaneously behead the siblings, but the plan goes awry as Daki takes on Zenitsu and Inosuke, while Gitaro goes head to head with Tengen and Tanjiro. The siblings fight as a synchronized team, outmatching the Demon Slayers. However, Tanjiro quickly realizes that his water breathing techniques are more useful defensively and uses them to fend off Gyutaro's attacks. And just when things look bleak for the Demon Slayers, Hinatsuru jumps into the fray and throws wisteria laced kunais at Gyutaro, enabling Tanjiro and Tengen to strike his neck. Yutaro may have regenerated his legs, but that didn't stop Tanjiro and his crew from giving their all in the fight against the upper rank demon. With Tengen pleading for help and Hinatsuru's life on the line, Tanjiro combines his Hinokomi Kagura and water breathing techniques to unleash a lightning fast attack that leaves Yutaro stunned and saves Hinatsuru. As the fight rages on, Tengen shows his gratitude to Tanjiro by joining him in a desperate attempt to behead Yutaro. Meanwhile, Zenitsu and Nosuke continue to hold off Daki's Obi, but Gutaro won't let them off so easily. He unleashes his blood demon art once again, forcing Tengen to possibly sacrifice himself to save the others. And with Tengen fighting for his life against Gutaro, Tanjiro and his teammates must step up their game against Daki. They coordinate their attacks with precision, opening the way for Inosuke to deliver a fatal blow to the demon by sawing off her head and preventing reattachment. But victory is short-lived when Gutaro appears and stabs Inosuke from behind, snatching up Daki's head in the process. Tanjiro is left to witness a gravely injured Tengen, and he's frozen with despair at his inability to help. Zenitsu comes to his rescue, pushing him off the roof to save him from Daki's incoming attack. After the intense battle, Tanjiro finally reunites with his beloved sister Nezuko and breathes a sigh of relief that she is unharmed. However, the celebration is short-lived, as the sinister Gyutaro reappears, taunting Tanjiro's inability to protect his loved ones and tossing him around the burning city like a ragdoll. As the young hero lay at his enemy's mercy, Gyutaro offers Tanjiro a way out, become a demon, and he will spare his life. But Tanjiro's determination and loyalty to his cause shine through as he headbutts Gyutaro and stabs him with a poisoned kunai, rendering the demon helpless. With Gyutaro's fate in his hands, Tanjiro summons all of his strength to finish him off once and for all with his Hinokami Kagura. However, Daki attempts to intervene, only to be stopped by the lightning-fast Zenitsu. Meanwhile, Inosuke joins the fray and slices off Daki's head with his razor-sharp swords, preventing her from interfering any further. Yutaro removes the kunai and regains his strength, ready to kill Tanjiro, but the valiant Tengen steps in, fighting the demon despite his own severe injuries. As Tanjiro battles on, he is stabbed in the jaw by Yutaro, but he does not falter. Summoning all his courage and strength, Tanjiro Tanjiro presses forward, attempting to slice through Gyutaro's neck. Meanwhile, Zenitsu and Inosuke coordinate their efforts to take out Daki, whose head rolls close to her brother's. Just as the Demon Slayers are about to triumph, Gyutaro's body explodes, unleashing a torrent of blood blades and leveling the city. After defeating Gyutaro and Daki, Tanjiro and his friends set out to finish off any remaining demons. Nezuko's blood demon art proves to be useful once again as she burns away the poison that had afflicted Inosuke and Tengen. The group finds Tengen surrounded by his wives, but Nezuko's quick thinking saves him just in time. As they make their way through the ruins of the city, they stumble upon a pool of blood, where Tanjiro takes a sample for Tamayo. The remaining demons, Gyutaro and Daki, are still alive and arguing over whose fault their defeat is, even insulting their sibling relationship. Tanjiro intervenes, but before anything could be resolved, they both die. 
As Gutaro's life begins to fade away, he reminisces on his human life. Born in the poorest caste of the entertainment district, he was treated like a monster because of his ugliness. However, things changed when his sister Ume was born. Her beauty brought the siblings better living conditions until tragedy struck when Ume blinded a samurai and was burned in retaliation. Yutaro found her body and was slashed by a samurai, asked by Ume's madam. Despite being left for dead, Yutaro survives and kills them both. Without any help, they were found by upper rank six, who offered to turn them into demons. In the afterlife, Yutaro reunites with Ume and reconciles with her promising to never be apart again as they walk together towards hell. Gutaro finally disintegrates, closing the chapter of this tragic story. As the group is about to leave the area, the serpent Hashira Obanai Iguro arrives and sarcastically praises Tengen for killing the weakest upper rank. However, Tengen informs him of Tanjiro's potential and his intention to retire. The news of Tengen's retirement reaches Kaguya, who is overjoyed at the prospect of Muzan's defeat, despite his increasingly ill health. He expresses his pride in Tengen, the three young demon slayers, and Nezuko. Meanwhile, Akaza is summoned to the Infinity Castle, realizing that he has been summoned there only because an upper rank was killed. Tanjiro embraces his friends emotionally, grateful that they all survived. It seems that their victory has brought them one step closer to finally defeating Muzan and bringing peace to the world. Now that you're all cut up, be sure to subscribe and check out my other content on Demon Slayer Season 2. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.